I had to spend a few minutes talking about the NFL draft, which is tonight. I'm expected to go down with Big Boom to uh, the Cleveland Brown Stadium and watch it live as they go. But I want to run across some of what they label as a mock draft and some of the people that they got listed from the beginning. Now, most people have been talking, and I'm going to slow this down for myself. They have the Cleveland Browns selecting Sam Darnold as number one from USC quarterback. And um, I don't know all of these guys, but I just want to go across the list number two. You got the New York Giants taking Bradley Chubb is a defensive end out of um, North Carolina State. And then at number three, they have the Jets taking Josh Rosen, the USC, US UCLA, excuse me, UCLA quarterback. And at number four, they have the Browns taking Saquon Barkley. Now, that would be interesting if it worked out that way. Number five, they have the Ohio State superstar cornerback Denzel Ward going to the Denver Broncos. And number five, excuse me, and number six, Roquan Smith, who is a linebacker from Georgia, who gets from sideline to sideline. I watched him play in the national championship game and hold his own going to the Indianapolis Colts. And number seven, they have listed here, Going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Derwin James, a free safety. Going to, who is he going to play for? They have Derwin going to, yeah, Tampa Bay Buccaneers for Derwin. And uh, for the Chicago Bears coming up next, they have Quentin Nelson, number nine, Traymond Edmonds for, from Virginia Tech going to the 49ers and Vita Vea from the Raiders. But what I want to spend a couple of minutes uh, for number 10. And for anybody that's interested in the Browns, the draft, or I don't know who your team is, but um, I'm still a big fan. I am. I'm still a big fan of the Cleveland Browns head coach. I'm still a big fan. And being a coach myself, I understand how difficult and challenging it is to sometimes get things done. And so I have compassion for Hugh Jackson. But I'm also not an advocate and a fan of just getting rid of somebody, you know, quickly. Uh, He's proven to be a quarterback coach, and Cleveland Browns have not had a quarterback that they consider worthy probably since Bernard. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to call him Bernard. But since Bernie Kosar. So the number one pick and the number four pick is all I really want to discuss today. If I was at the controls and was capable of, of picking, I would take Saquon Barkley, the running back from Penn State, as my number one pick. I know the cards may fall in a certain direction, but one of the quarterbacks should be available at number four. And if that happens to be Josh Allen, I would probably take Josh Allen, but I'm also quick to say my top quarterback personally is Lamar Jackson. So I would take Lamar Jackson. 